Okay, everybody, welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle once again, or Big Al. Uh, got a challenge locking device that I just got uh, recently. Hopefully, you're going to watch the uh, last video I uploaded. It was a package from uh, Sauce Pest as he goes by on YouTube. And this one here is uh, simply called number 005, and I'll show you. It also has, um, it's half of a uh, Euro cylinder, by the way. So I've got it in a little holder. Um, but it also had, um, and I, to be fairly honest with you, uh, I can't read what that says. I don't know if it's safe. See the key tag? Um, I don't know if it's SAFE for safe or SAFG. I don't know, but it does have the 005 on the uh, lock and on the tag. So we'll just go with 005. Okay, so, uh, and I got to tell you, I just tried this thing pretty much uh, right after I opened the package up. And it's a freaking blast. Um, so hopefully we can do it on camera. And also, I'm using this uh, microphone right, right about there. Again, the external mic. And I was able to, I think, dial it back just a little bit. Um, so hopefully it's not... Um, the other one kind of sounded like... or. Uh, when I first used it without the um, without dialing it back a little bit it had a lot of hiss to it kind of like sounded like the ocean was in the background so I think I have it adjusted um, who knows this is a process you know how it is it's a process we'll get it figured out okay so it should pick all this up real good so I'm gonna go counterclockwise like I did a bit ago and see if we can't get something started here. I'll be using the uh, Peterson Gem, by the way, and probably this um, high hook from the SS Dev. Okay. Try to get something started, like I said. Oh, I didn't even show you. My bad. Let's back it up. <laughs> There's the bidding on the key. This one wasn't wrapped up. Oh, you know what? Actually, when I tried it out of the box, though, it got stuck, so I'm going to not do that. <laughs> so let's just get it picked. Hopefully get it picked. Uh, yeah, when I tried it, if you watch the unboxing, you'll see the, uh, the key gets hung up in there. So I don't want to go through that again. We don't have to. See if we can get a false set going here. Yeah, this thing's a real hoot, man. It, uh, if I can get it back there again, you'll see it goes into a false set like you wouldn't believe. I thought I had it open like three times. Okay, there it went a little bit. But that's just a tease. I'm telling you, it's... Okay, nice counter. I think this is... One. really kind of hard to navigate this keyway too. It's a little funky. It is going a bit different this time. Let me use this dev a little bit here. See if we can get uh, that deeper false set. Okay, there it went. That was pretty major. Okay, a little farther. I mean, it went so deep that uh, I literally thought it was open. It's not working with me this time. <laughs> Camera shy. Oh, it's lost that deep false set now. It is a crunchy sucker. Okay, I got that false set back.
very hard to stay under them pins with this little thin pick, but it's kind of what you have to use to get back there. At least I did. I'm going to try this gem again. Something's yeah, it's picking slightly different this time. Oof. Nasty. Okay, I've got a pretty a pretty deep false set. Now if we can get out of it. Okay, now it's super deep. You see that? Super deep false set. I probably should have put a mark on it so you can see that. But, oh, there it goes. Bada boom, bada bing. We are open. Bam! Freaking badass. Okay. Now I got the uh, good shakes. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get it out of here. Yeah, we're open. Fair and square. See? Get that thing out of there. Oh yeah, we got the good shakes now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love the lock there, uh, Saspes. Love it. Let me get the camera down over here. All right, get it out of this holder here. Again, you can see we're very much open. Uh, we got a key so I can, well, actually that key uh, let's see if we can do it without the key Because it did uh The key gets stuck a little bit in there, so if we can avoid that. Let's just avoid it I don't see why not Yep, I got the shakes all right Is that enough? Yep, okay Bada boom bada bang, okay, so we're we are rotated. We've got to deal with those slots in the back too, so we got a lot going on here. All right, bada boom, bada bang. Let's see what we got. Hopefully that's the right follower. Feels good. Pins are over there. Oof, yeah. Looks like number two barely needed picking, but the other ones are super deep. All right. Beautiful, beautiful lock. Sauce pass. Or sauce, if you don't mind my saying. one there. Alright, let me get some better eyes on. Bada boom, bada bing, baby. Okay, where's the tweezers? Here we go. I don't want those. I want my pokey. Where's my pokey? Here it is. Okay, so on the core we've got threading in one and five, and there's also threading down here in number three, but it's threaded and undercut in number three. Well played. That's really cool. I don't think I've tried that yet. 
and there's an undercut in number two and six. I'm going to try to show that work. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's get some pins out of the out of the Bible part here. Oh yeah, this was great. Make them stay upright so we know which way they went. Very nice, deep, uh, serrated. Almost uh, skeletonized, almost. Two, keep it standing up. Oh, nice. Nice little sharp top on that sucker there. And a different kind of spring. Number three. Nice uh, kind of rounded uh, spool. Four just barely popped up. And I can't get it out of there because it's so... I'm going to stand it up here. And I'll show you why. That's why. <laughs> like a cone. Really cool. It's probably where I got some of them uh, super deep fall sets at. Uh, so that was four, so we need five and six. Let's go to the other side. Well, yeah, if I can do it carefully. I like having that split in the follower, though. It holds the pin straight up. Okay. Nice. Another kind of serrated spool combobulation. Like like both. Oops. I'm sorry. That was six. My bad. Scoot that over. That was six. So we need five. Stay. Nice. And another almost kind of like a barreled almost. And the fifth spring. All right. I don't think there's anything done up here, but I'll check. No. No, there's no mods in the Bible there. All right. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. And I'll tell you what, y'all. This box traveled a long, long way to get here, man. And I highly appreciate it. I will be putting a box together uh, for you, uh, Sauspes, and get one out to you, uh soon enough trust me on that okay let's uh bring the camera down nice and flat come in a little bit all right so key pins we've got this double serrated with a super sharp top i hope the camera is getting that sucker uh number two is this kind of um cone shaped spool combobulation with a serrated top Three is a kind of a rounded uh, spool. Four is this cool serrated cone because it's, I mean, it literally like goes down. I hope, well, you can see. Um, it's like a serrated cone. And five, we'll call that a spool with a sharp top. And then the six, it's another one. Oh, it's got a T pin to the top. It reduces here and then it's T pinned at the top. And then the drivers, we've got, am I on camera? Yeah. Uh, triple serrated in one. Um, this cool, again, like a uh, spool with a super sharp end right here. Uh, three, uh, kind of a coned spool. Four is this, another cone. I keep saying cone, but it is. It's like a cone-shaped uh, T-pin combobulation. And then uh, five is this, uh, see, it's almost like them barrel pins, but these parts aren't on each end, so they're shifted. And then six is this, uh, I'd say, a serration and spool right here. And then the springs do vary. It looks like copper. Yep. Looks like copper, steel, steel, copper, copper, steel. All right, there we go. Uh, that was number, what was it, 005 from Saspes. Thank you so much for sending it so far, my friend. And you will get something back from me soon enough. Thank you all for watching. Big Al, signing out.